today's video we are going to see how to answer these questions when it comes to amphibia as well as reptilia so let's see the very first question which class of chordate have maximum living animals so the pisces pisces is not a class it comes under super class actually but uh, in this uh, super class you will be having more number of living animals than uh, is actually super class so pisces both chondroichthyes and osteoichthyes are together will be having maximum living animals so this when in, in chordata fishes are more and which of the following lizard is limbless and serpentine so limbless as well as serpentine the correct answer here is ophiosaurus ophiosaurus is the limbless lizard so ophio uh, means ophio is nothing but uh, snakes and saurus lizard so which looks like uh, snakes that's why they named it as ophiosaurus hemidactylus i hope you all know this is the uh, wall lizard we usually see in the home hemidactylus and heloderma this is the only poisonous lizard so far only poisonous lizard is heloderma and uh, next we'll see the other thing so substance which is found in poison of cobra and viper are so usually the cobra and viper will have the poison which is one is neurotoxic and uh, that will become paralytic the person will become paralytic and next thing is uh, it will attack the heart so neurotoxin and cardiotoxin these are the two uh, types of poison released by cobra and viper and the cobra is nasa nasa viper is uh, viper and uh, brazil viper these two are poisonous snake and bangerus which is crypt that is also poisonous snakes and which of the following pair is unmatched for the animal of reptilian reptilian class so you will let's see the examples cladoic eggs yeah that will be cladoic and leathery eggs and temperature constant actually the reptilians are poikilothermic which is cold blooded so this is the wrong answer and you can find those are meroblastic and lack of metamorphosis there is nothing like larval stage will be there this is correct for reptilian and two, 12 pairs of cranial nerves will be there skin will be cornified hard and rough and you have the monocondylic skull with skin with scales but uh, in amphibians you can find the dicondylic skull here you can find the monocondylic skull all these things are uh, only this thing is unmatched right and let's see the other one uh, in which tympanum is absent birds they can hear uh, they have ears and frog the tympanum is present for frog and even lizards also the tympanum is present and for snakes there is no any tympanum the tympanum is absent for snakes the biggest snake is poisonous snake the biggest poisonous snake is so far king cobra king cobra is the biggest poisonous snake remaining or python is non poisonous and uh, pit viper is poisonous but not biggest snake and lizard like reptile lizard like reptiles with three eyes so we call that uh, lizard like reptiles with three eyes as okay let's see the lizard like reptiles with uh, three eyes is spinodon uh, which the third eye we call it as uh, parietal eye okay let's see the other one and next lizard like reptile with three eyes is spinodon and uh, you have the saurology what is the meaning of saurology which is saurology is the study of uh, lizards study of lizards we call it as saurology and snake uh, snakes is study of uh, ophiology or serpentology is the study of snakes and ornithology is the study of birds ornithology the poisonous glands in poisonous lizards 
in poisonous gland in poisonous lizard is sublingual gland the sublingual is the poisonous gland poisonous gland in poisonous lizard and the exoskeleton of dry scales is characteristic of reptiles because cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes have uh, mucus scales the scales and mucus will be there and amphibia the skin will be very smooth because it has unicellular mucus glands reptiles are hard cornified scales will be there and you can have the claws as well left lung is poorly developed in left lung is poorly developed in snakes and the cause of death during snake bite is you can have the failure of nerves and destruction of rbc which is neurotoxic as well as cardiotoxic both the type of toxin will be there in the venum and diaphragm is not present in in frogs you cannot see the diaphragm you can see for rabbit man and bats diaphragm will be there scales are found in you can see scales both in fishes as well as reptiles but hard scales you can find in reptiles you can find the uh, placoid cycloid tenoid scales placoid you can see for chondroid yes and cycloid and tenoid you will be seeing in fishes in in osteoichthyes and embryo is surrounded by amnion sorry that is amnion embryo embryo is surrounded by amniotic layer will be seen in uh, snake because uh, snakes will lay excledoic eggs which is amniotic Uh, reptiles aves mammals are amniotic eggs uh, because toads and fishes are an amniotic eggs and cockroach egg uh, we call it as uh, so we don't call in that case we call that as utheka inside it has 16 eggs will be there 16 babies will be produced that is utheka that is a different thing and group amniota will include uh, in this following options reptiles birds mammals are amniota which are poikilothermic uh, tortoise is a reptile testudo tortoise and uh, otter penguin and whale are mammals uh, penguin is the amphibian bird all the three are mammals mammals are homeothermic which is warm blooded tortoise reptile which is cold blooded animals active during day time what we call that animals active during day time we call it as diurnal if they are active during night time we call it as nocturnal next the order squamata consists of the order squamata consists of uh, lizards as well as snakes uh, it comes under order squamata and skin of reptile is characterized by scales scales the only poisonous lizard in the world is Heloderma is the only poisonous snake in the world. Poisonous lizard in the world. Sorry, the most advanced character of crocodile and uh, cavialis is four-chambered heart. Four-chambered heart is the most advanced character. Which of the following is a non-poisonous snake? Because cro cobra, nasa, and uh, viper, uh, viper, it is a poisonous. Great bangaras, that is also poisonous. and erix is not non poisonous which of the following belong to chilonia of class reptalia this is very easy turtles chilon is turtle testudo is tortoise the snake can be distinguished from lizard by the absence of limbs the snake and lizard because snake will not have uh, girdles tympanum and movable eyelids will not be there for snake that will be there for lizards lizards will be having movable eyelids girdles and uh, tympan which of the following regarded as a living fossil so spinodon is considered as a living fossil foramen of penisi penisi is associated with heart of lizard in the heart of lizard we have a foramen called foramen of penisi and which of the following uh, zoological ages are called golden era of reptiles that is uh, mesozoic mesozoic era the same time dinosaurs dinosaurs are also considered as reptiles so those are also occurred uh, uh, especially in the geological era in the earth crust that is nothing but mesozoic era is considered as the golden era actually uh, dinosaurs uh, was the leading one horned toad belong to uh, 
reptiles hornet toad is not an amphibian hornet toad is an reptilian reptilian don't forget this hornet toad is reptilian poisonous glands are found in buffo on the skin of buffo which is uh, toad you can find the poisonous glands indicate the non poisonous uh, animal in the following is uh, varanus varanus is non poisonous nasa uh, which is cobra poisonous uh, bangrus crite is poisonous viper is poisonous as well and the glass snake is the glass snake is nothing but uh, the limbless amphibian we call it as the glass snake Sorry, the glass snake is nothing but uh, the limbless uh, amphibian, which is limbless. Sorry, the limbless fish we call it as glass snake. Amphibian have heart, which is composed of two auricles and one ventricle. So that's why we call it as uh, auriculoventricular heart. So option C. Oxalontal larva of uh, Ambystoma normally fails to metamor metamorphosis. The reason is uh, lack of iodine in water and its diet. Yeah, that is the reason. Amphibians are not found in sea. In sea, you can't find an amphibian. The living amphibian with minute dermal scales is ichthyophis. That's why they named it as ichthyophis because amphibians don't contain scales. But uh, these amphibian ichthyophis contain scales. That's why they named it as ichthyophis. Ichthyo means fish. Temporary or permanent retention of larval stage is known as neoteny. And what is uh, morphogenesis is development of the organs. Embryogenesis, uh, embryo, uh, the development of embryo is embryogenesis. Parthenogenesis, virgin birth, which you can see in birds and reptiles. In frog, the typical, the typical vertebrae is procellus. One side it will be concave and the other side is convex. Anterior it is concave and posterior it is convex. Amphicelus you can see in uh, fishes. Acelus is seen in uh, human beings. In mammals you can see the acelus. Which one of the following animals have dermal scale in its skin? So ureo typhlus will be having dermal scale in its skin. And these are actually limbless amphibian as well. Ureo uh, typhlus, which is limbless amphibian. And so the following has tail throughout its lifetime. So Necturus, Amphistoma, and Salamandra. All the three will be having tail throughout its life. Which of the following we otherwise call it as water dog, which is otherwise called it as uh, mud puppy. Uh, Necturus. Necturus is mud puppy. Amphibian have incomplete double circulation. Uh, if an axolotl larva is placed in water containing iodine, then it will start metamorphosis, right? Skin of amphibian will serve as respiration, thermoregulation, yes, offensive because it consists of uh, certain uh, uh, poisonous glands, all the above, all the above. This is the right answer. Tailed amphibian are, this is very easy. If you know the terminology, you can answer this question. Tailed amphibian, we call it as uh, Eurodella. Eurodella means tailed amphibian. The Euro means tail, that's why. And Sicilians will come under uh, Gymnophiona. And Eura means tailless. Frogs and toads will come under tailless. And uh, limbless will come under Apoda. Ichthyophis, Apoda, limbless. And frogs and toads are included under anura, means tailless. Snake-like amphibians are included under gymnophiona, gymnophina, uh, which is uh, Sicilians. Those are snake-like snake -like amphibians. And single ear ossicle of frog is columella. This here it is absent. So none. You don't have uh, malleus, incus, and stapes. None will be there. Okay, and these are the questions from amphibia and reptilia, okay? So the next topic,
uh, for the coming video will be fungus and protesta okay see you in the next video thank you very much